It is February 1st, which means it's the month that spring training is back. Baseball is back during this month. 23 days until spring training games go underway. However, we've got some dates before that that are important. February 16th and the 21st are the days for Mariners pitchers and catchers reporting on the 16th and the position players on the 21st, their report to the spring training camp. If the player is participating in the WBC, however, pitchers and catchers will report on the 13th and the position players will report on the 16th. So all these players that you know and love for the Seattle Mariners will be reporting sometime later this month to the spring training facility in Peoria, Arizona. The Mariners yesterday put out a tweet, a graphic essentially showcasing the non-roster invitations and what these non-roster invitations are are guys that are not on the 40-man roster that are getting invites to spring training to participate and fight for their spot in the major league club or mainly just get more development that they wouldn't see at the prospect camp at spring training now of course there are the 40-man roster players that are still going to be there so we're going to go over those really quick just in case you guys forgot who's on the mariners 40-man roster we've got brendan bernardino prelander barroa matt brash isaiah campbell luis castillo diego castillo chris clark matt fesson chris flex and logan gilbert marco gonzalez trevor got George Kirby, Easton McGee, Andres Munoz, Penn Murphy, Robbie Ray, Taylor Sacedo, Paul Seawald, Gabe Spire, Juan Tenet, Justin Tapa, Tom Murphy, Cal Raleigh, J.P. Crawford, Ty France, Eugenio Suarez, Evan White, Colton Wong, Jonathan Classe, Sam Haggerty, Teoscar Hernandez, Cooper Hummel, Jared Kalnick, Cade Marlowe, Dylan Moore, AJ Pollock, Julio Rodriguez, Taylor Trammell, and Tommy LaStella. All the guys on the 40-man roster are guaranteed an invite to spring training. The most important part that you guys are probably here for is who is the non-roster invitations. This graphic that I brought up earlier, they are as follows. For the left-handed pitchers, we got Nick Tommy Malone, Justice Sheffield, and Blake Wyman. For the right-handed pitchers, we've got Taylor Dollard, Emerson Hancock, Travis Kuhn, Darren McCohen, 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 Bryce Miller, Riley O'Brien, Jose Rodriguez, Ryder Ryan, Casey Sadler, Taylor Williams, and Brian Wu. Lots of good prospects in there, if I'm being honest with you. We've got, for the catchers, Jake Anchia, 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 Harry Ford, Jacob Nottingham, Brian O'Keefe, and Matt Scheffler. For the infield, we've got Jose Caballero, Drew Ellis, Mike Ford, Mason McCoy, Colin Moran, Caden Polkovich, Leo Rivas, and Jake Schneider. And of course, for the outfield, the remaining players here are Zach Deloach, Jack Larson, Robert Perez, and Alberto Rodriguez. Alberto Rodriguez is a guy that was designated for assignment. He cleared waivers, so he is a prospect within the Mariner system, within the top 30, probably top 20, maybe fringe top 15. So it's nice to see that he'll get an invitation here. Same thing with Justice Sheffield, a guy that was designated for assignment. He cleared waivers, so if he can show up and have a nice spring training, he'll find himself potentially on the major league roster or a guy that will be ready to come up to the majors from AAA if we need him to fill in for any point in time to eat up some innings. Other guys that I'm excited for on the non-roster invitations here, obviously Harry Ford, a guy that's been tearing it up for the WBC and our top prospect in all of baseball for the Seattle Mariners. It's going to be great to see him have these more competitive at bats, I would say. You're not guaranteed to face like the Jacob deGrom to the Shohei Otanis on the mount during every spring training game. However, you know, there are going to be those moments where you do face more major league ready talent. Having Harry Ford get that exposure is going to be great to see. In that same vein, having guys like Taylor Dollard, Emerson Hancock, Bryce Miller, and Brian Wu all get that same exposure against more major league ready batters. It's going to be great to see them and how they kind of fare in those moments, how they work out of trouble, how they get out of jams. It's all really nice to see. A guy like Matt Brass showed out in spring training last year, and he earned his spot on the major league roster, albeit as a starter, and it didn't really work out super well for him at the beginning of the year last year, but giving them that exposure likely can help them grow into their potential a bit faster. Another interesting guy on this list is Colin Moran. He's the most major league ready player, I think, on this entire list, I would say, of these non-roster invitations. If he can show up in spring training and still show that he can hit right-handed pitching really well, he's definitely going to earn his spot on the major league roster to be a bench hitter or DH against left-handed batters, give Ty France a day off, maybe even Gino Suarez a day off at third if he still feels comfortable over there. Tommy Listella, it's kind of between those two guys to be that bench bat and that guy to fill in in the corners if one of those two guys shows up more than the other i would not be surprised that one of them makes the opening day roster and the other does not there's a couple guys i want to talk about on the 40-man roster that i'm excited the most to see during spring training and how they fare jared kelnick is number one on my list because the spotlight is on him now it's his time to perform it's his time to show up when it matters most and show that he is ready to be an everyday starter again against right-handed pitching not against lefties yet but that he's ready to see the bulk of the at bats and playing time out in left field julio rodriguez shocked the world last year during spring training and earned the everyday center field starting spot for the major league roster so if jared kelnick can come in during spring training have good at bats 
show a great approach. It'll do wonders for him heading into the regular season. A guy also in the outfield, listed in the outfielders here, Cooper Hummel. He could be the third catcher if you need him to. It's not going to be a great idea back there, but you know, Cooper Hummel, he's a switch hitting guy. He's going to be on the bench likely to be a pinch hitter or potentially DH some of the days, maybe even go out and play left field. If Kalanick and Pollock are struggling, if he goes out and has a great spring, I would not be surprised to see him get more at bats early on in the regular season to see if it was legit or not. The outfield is pretty crowded. However, you know, you got Taylor Trammell and like I said, AJ Pollock, Cade Marlowe is another guy. If he's hitting well in spring training, they might kind of test the waters there to see what he's all about. But I think with Sam Haggerty and Dylan Moore still probably recovering from their surgeries that they've had in the off season, it's not a guarantee that either of them are going to be ready for opening day. So having guys like Cooper Hummel, Taylor Trammell, and Cade Marlowe take those ABs and get more practice during spring training is going to be huge for them to be ready for opening day if Sam Haggerty and Dylan Moore aren't able to go. As far as pitching goes for spring training, don't expect to see a lot of the starters, specifically Logan Gilbert and George Kirby, seeing a lot of innings. I think they're going to start them off slow. I'm pretty sure Jerry Depoto said this a little while ago that they're not going to stretch them out super hard in terms of innings during spring training and actual game innings. They're going to still be throwing bullpens, obviously, but Chris Flex and Marco Gonzalez and those young guys on the non-roster invitations will probably see the bulk of the starts and innings in spring training. Now, a guy that's not on this list that you might have expected to see here based around what we said when we signed him was Felon and Celestine, international prospect, switch hitting shortstop. You guys know him. Hopefully you guys love him like we do. Where is he at on this list? Well, he's going to be going to the prospect camp. When the Mariners signed him, they mentioned that he would be receiving an invite to spring training. That invite is actually for the prospect camp. So guys like Cole Young, Walter Ford, Lazaro Montes, they'll be there instead of at the major league camp. So Felon and Celsius will be joining them. Make sure to check out this video on the screen where we rank the top 30 prospects in the Mariners organization and where we have them for the 2023 season. Expect to see some of the guys on that list at spring training at the prospect camp if you happen to go. Thanks you guys for watching this one and go Mariners.